Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Judith Patterson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas, and today I'm going to show you not one, but two cards from the catalog. Um, both of them are going to be just slightly altered, nothing major, um, and they're both really quick, so I thought it would be fun to show you both of them in one video. So the stamp set I'm using all week this week is Cup of Tea. I'm very excited to use this, well, this entire suite, not just the stamp set. Um, it's one of the first ones in the annual catalog, and there's so much fun stuff you can do with this. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to playing with it all week. And if you want to see more ideas than just what's in the catalog or this video, then be sure to check out my blog um, in the upcoming days and see what else I decide to do with it. Okay, so let's... There we go. So now you can see the catalog. So on page 12, we'll be making this card first and then this card down here. And like I say, both of them are gonna be slightly altered from what is showing in the catalog, um, but nothing major. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get a piece of, this is a little scrap that um, I had used previously, of Parakeet Party cardstock. It measures, I believe, two and a half by two and a quarter inches. I'm grabbing this teacup die. Can you see the design on the front of that? and the coordinating parakeet party ink. So I'm just gonna ink up my teacup. So the piece of um, the card base that is used in the catalog example, I have already used. That is part of, let's see if you can see it here. It's part of the Tea Boutique cards and envelopes. So there is one that I have used, both of already, and it just happens to be the one used in this um, example. So I decided to use the green one instead. So I'm going to just set that aside. And now I have a piece of basic white cardstock that measures four and a half inches high by three and a quarter inches wide. So I just took an inch off of each side, or an inch off the top and an inch off the bottom. Um, <clears throat> when I cut this. Okay, so I'm using the stems and garden green ink. And I wanna stamp these pretty high, but I do want to keep in mind I need to leave room for the flowers, so not too high. Okay, and then I have the flower stamp, and I'm going to use it with sweet sorbet ink. So the um, flowers don't line up perfectly at the end of the stems, but pretty close. So just try not to overlap things too much. And you should be good to go. It's, this one is not one that you need to sit and spend a lot of time trying to get perfect. Okay, so on just a very small scrap of basic white, I'm going to stamp the lemon. And I used crushed curry for that one. The sentiment that we're using on this card is take care of yourself. using the sweet sorbet again. I'm just going to stamp that here on the bottom. Okay. So now I'm getting my mini stamp cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to use the coordinating teacup dies to cut out the lemon and the teacup.
so now that we have our pieces cut out, I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to attach the teacup to this card base. And I'm going to go ahead and um, cut a couple of little pieces to put on the handle. Not necessary, but I like to have all my bases covered. Just cut a few small pieces. And they'll fit right there on the handle, and then I'm going to use this other place just to fill it in, in the middle. Okay, and then for the lemon, the side that is going to be overlapping the teacup, I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue on. The other side, I'm putting another Stampin' Dimensional. There we go. So I'm going to use my bone folder. These, in, um, not the envelopes, but the cards come flat like this. So I'm going to use my bone folder to go ahead and score that or crease that. Burnish it is what we call it. And then I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals again to attach this piece to the card base. There we go, there is the, our first card from the catalog. I'm gonna clean up my stamps just a little bit and then I'll be back for the second card from the catalog. Okay, for the second card from the catalog, the one in the catalog measures four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. I am going to be using one that measures across the front four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Um, I don't do square cards very often, so I changed this to suit my style a little bit more. Um, so this piece is, this is Orchid Oasis cardstock, and it measures three and three quarters by five and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna take the Orchid Oasis ink, and I'm gonna use those flowers again and I'm just going to stamp these flowers for my background. And I'm going to stamp them in all different directions. Um, you can start off the page. You can start wherever you want to, um, really. And you can turn them however you want to to get them to fit. And um, not just to fit, but the different hats that you might want. Or the different, what's the word I'm looking for? The different spacing that you want. I tend to, whenever I do backgrounds like this, I tend to really get a lot of stamps in there, but I know a lot of people tend to have a lot of empty space and there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Um, if anything, I probably go a little bit overboard with my stamping. And a lot of this will be covered up by designer series paper. So I know a lot of this is going to be covered up, so I'm getting kind of 
weird. I don't want to waste time stamping everything that's going to get covered up in a minute anyway. Think that's good. Okay, so the next thing that I have is a piece of designer series paper. This is still from the T Boutique designer series paper, but it is a different piece than um, what was used on the example in the catalog. This is some of my favorite DSP, so I have already used a lot of it. Um, so I just went with something that I had left. I'm not quite ready to open another pack of this yet. Isn't there that's probably about a half an inch oh look at that it's very close to half an inch from the bottom and if you want to you could always use these lines on your grid paper to help line everything up and make sure it is totally straight okay so now I have a scrap piece of basic white cardstock I've already used um, one end of it for the rectangle punch this piece measures about two and a quarter inches by about two and a half, well, this part of it, about two and a half inches, or if you want to look at the whole thing, um, four and a quarter inches. So two and a quarter by four and a quarter inches, and I like to have them long like this. That's why I didn't cut this off, because it gives you something extra to hold on to when you're slipping it into the punch. So I'm using the Orchid Oasis ink again. Stampin' a little bit towards the top. My thank you. And then I'm going to use crushed curry to stamp the flower. And this I'm just using another um, just small scrap of basic white cardstock. going to use the rectangle postage punch so that punched this out real easy now for the flower I'm going to get those um, coordinating teacup dies again and there's one that will cut the flower out if you don't have the dies and you don't have a stamp it cut and emboss machine so you're not going to get the dies anytime soon then you could always stamp this flower straight um, on your cardstock right here just underneath your thank you. That would be no problem at all. I'm going to punch mine out though because I want to put a dimensional on the back of it and just let it stick up a little bit. I keep hitting my camera whenever I'm running things through my stamp cut and emboss machine so I was trying to get it positioned just right so that I didn't do that this time I'm going to use that phone folder again to burnish my card base this is Four and a quarter inches wide, like I said before. It's 11 inches long, and then I scored it at five and a half inches. So I'm going to use those Stampin' Dimensionals. <clears throat> I love these things. I'm just going to place several on the back. I think I'm going to do three rows of three. So like the card in the catalog, I am centering this vertically, 
but from side to side I'm leaning more towards the left and leaving more space over here on the right. Just a little different way to do your layout. I don't know about you, but I tend to center everything up perfectly every time. So every once in a while it's just fun to get out of the box a little. Do something a little different. Okay, so I'm placing this kind of high. There we go. And then I'm going to use one more dimensional on the back of my flower. It just fits. And usually I don't do three levels of dimensionals, but for this tiny little thing, I think it'll be okay. Of course, then I'm adding an in-color matte dot on top of that. So I'm going to stick with one of these light-colored parakeet party matte dots, but you could also use one of the other colors. Okay, so let me pull that catalog out again and we can compare the ones I just made with the ones from the catalog. So here is this one. Can you see that? Let's see if I can lift it up a little closer. There we go. So there's the one from the catalog and then there's the one that I just made. And then the other one, this is a much bigger difference. It's just, to me, it seems a little bit brighter. And I chose the colors that I did because they coordinate with the envelope. Isn't that cool? I love these decorative envelopes. So very pretty. Well, that's all I've got for you today. I appreciate you for watching, um, and I want to remind you that Stampin' Up! is having a joining special this month. Um, I'm not going to tell you all about it this time because I have in the last couple of videos, and I probably will again next time, but I am going to leave a link below if you'd like to see more about that. Basically, when you sign up, you get extra goodies, and you always get to pick your goodies with Stampin' Up!'s um, starter kit. All right, you guys, let me know if there is a card from the catalog that you would like to see made on a video and get out there and make something fun. Have a great week. Happy stamping.